Hey guys, Sean Nicole here to talk about everything indie. Guys, so many fun things to talk about. First of all, as you all know, we recently launched the Indie.com record label. And we got Grammy Award winning producer John Shanks, who has sold over 60 million records as our new VP of music. Now guys, we have something really cool to show you. Indie Radio. All you have to do is go to the left hand menu, click on Indie Radio, and you'll hear a constant stream of some of the coolest discoveries. I mean, badass discoveries. And when you find those badass discoveries, make sure you click on their name so you can read all about them. It's really, really cool. You're going to love it. We've been having a blast hanging out with some of our challenge winners. Like Melanie Wrecker and her casting judge, Alex Newman, who's been involved in casting shows like Glee and Supernatural. We also did Jolene Kay and her casting judge, Jessica Sherman, who's been involved in projects like Star Wars Episode 7 and Believe and The Strange. Oh my god, I love that show. Guys, we even sent a camera crew all the way to Canada to meet with Callum Graham, one of our past music challenge winners. He is actually our Indie Star Profile Video of the Week. Check this out. I'm Callum Graham, I'm 22 years old, been playing guitar for 13 years or so now. Initially I started playing punk rock and, and metal guitar, I was in high school and that was, that's what I was doing and all of a sudden I heard this album Bearing Straight by Don Ross, something completely different. It sounded like there were three guitars playing at once, I thought it was, you know, like almost a quartet or something going on and when I found out that it was one guitar I, I flipped. And I said, I need to learn how to play this. And now for this week's winners. First up, the Nova Filmhouse Short Film Challenge, guys. Nova Filmhouse, their team is responsible for over $13 billion in the box office. And the winner of this one is going to meet with two of the founders. Dror Sorup, who is the CEO and an award-winning filmmaker, and Sarah Richard, who was the president of production for New Line Cinema for 27 years. The first place vote winner went to Sylvia Markov. The founders felt that it was a beautifully presented classic romantic story of what if that is actually uplifting and fun. Superb acting, a joy to watch and experience. Tu sais qu'en France, la fracturation est interdite depuis 2011. And the judges pit with the Meraki Studios. The founders love how this film tackles social and religious taboos in a very lyrical and sensitive way. They love the dichotomy of the beautiful heroine and the singing women against the harsh shots of her abusing husband. They fully felt how her spirit, soaring when applying her art, is crushed by pure cruelty inherent in the culture she lives in. It was beautifully acted, shot, and directed in a very honest way. It's going to be a really cool meeting. Next up, rap. First place vote winner went to Jeremy S. What I'm saying is nobody can tell me which way to go. Forget about talking about him. I'm going until I'm broke. And the judge's pick went to Eric Campbell. I used to work at this coffee shop, right? With a bunch of pretty girls, serving coffee to pretty girls and talking to pretty girls. On occasion, they cross my mind, but I want in particular put the spice in my child. Love the guitar, love the lyrics, great new spin on rap. Next up, we have comedy. First place vote winner went to Anthony Reese. My name is Cyrus, and uh, my dad uh, thought this would be cool to do this um, to me, chicks. And the judges pick went to Travis Dixon. <laughs> And finally, the acting challenge with casting judge Tara Tracy. Who's been involved in casting huge shows like Two and a Half Men and The Big Bang Theory and The Crazy Ones. Now, the vote winner went to Matt Harrison, and her judge's pick went to her absolute favorite actor, who happened to be Matt Harrison. Here's what Tara had to say about Matt. He's a fantastic actor who made the scene flow effortlessly. He was a great listener to his reader and had really wonderful, subtle reactions. His instincts in the scene, flawless. Really wonderfully done. Well, I am kind of always on time. Early, actually. It might be just a little bit... Uh, OCD? I was going to say punctual to a fault, but yes. Way to kick ass, Matt. We are very excited about your prize meeting with Tara in the next couple of weeks. And here's what's up for voting this week. Best solo instrumental performance?
the healthy living cooking challenge. We gotta make our salsa, and we gotta make the sauce for the veggies. And put this in with the ice cubes. But you're gonna have a flavor explosion. And finally, what inspired you to be an artist? Now make sure to vote like crazy for this one because the judges pick and the vote winner both get to meet with Barbara Deutsch, who is a huge famous industry coach, Belle Zerdling, who is a top agent at Progressive Arts Agency, and Mimi Maynard, who is a casting director and producer and director of 3D Animation. I mean, this table is going to be amazing. All right, guys, grab those cameras and get creative. So many fun things on the board. Guys, we have a new original song challenge with John Shanks as the judge. Remember guys, Grammy Award winning producer, produced over 85 number one albums, and he is actually going to talk career with his judge's pick. We have another music challenge with Bumblefoot, one of the best guitar players the world has ever known. He is actually going to lay a guitar solo down on his favorite track. Now we also have a new acting challenge with casting judge Erica Silverman, who's been involved in projects like Revolution and Criminal Minds and Star Trek Into Darkness. We have a battle of the bands, we have a poetry, rap, we have show us your funny. Magic, guys, we even have one coming up relatively soon. Keep your head up for it. Billy Bob Thornton. Bam! Get up there, guys. Create, post, and vote. Be a star, find a star. Indie.com.